is Victoria. Welcome back to Femhead. So today is a Monday. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put this video up. But today is a Monday and on Mondays I clean the bathrooms. It's this like new routine I'm trying and it's been working out really well. But one thing I noticed I was unpacking from our trip, I need to put our, my travel bag away, is that my, it's not bad, but I like, I wanna go through here and only have the stuff that I actually use and just kind of like arrange it so it's more cohesive like because I have biofreeze here that I don't really use I have old like belly lotion from when I was pregnant with Theo a big drawer down here that I want to go through and I figured well I'm doing bathrooms today anyways like this is kind of bathroom related it is bathroom related but I also thought it could be a chance to share some like the new products that I've been using certain things that I've been testing out but I want to organize it and arrange it and then clean the bathroom so I'm going to take everything down and kind of arrange it by categories and then also like things I want to get rid of um, and things I want to store somewhere else. So let's start at the top and go down and I'll just talk you through things as we go. So this is a natural toothpaste that has activated charcoal in it. I got it sent to me a while ago and then someone was like, I'm a dentist, it's really bad to use charcoal on your teeth every single day. And I was like, oh no, like I hate to be wasteful. Like is there any circumstance in which you would use it? And she said, it's really good for whitening, but I'd only use it like once or twice a month. So that's what I do. This is a face oil I got a long time ago. I don't use it that often to be completely honest. My skin's really sensitive to oils anymore because sometimes I'll use an oil to like take off makeup or something like that. I might put this somewhere else for right now. This is um, Intensive Repair Balm. This was so expensive. I got it off of like a clean vegan skincare website, order a couple things, and this is supposed to be like, like I said, intensive repair balm. And I was like, this would be perfect for my like dry patches during the winter. I swear this does nothing, but I don't want to get rid of it because I spent so much money on it. So we're gonna put that over here with the, probably doesn't need to be in here. This is from Coco Kind. It is a resurfacing sleep mask. I really like this. It's overnight mask with plant-derived retinol alternative, but I do use this like once a week, so I wanna keep it. This is a perfume from Aveda that I got in a like bag years ago. Um, I don't actually really like the smell of it. Maybe I'll give it away. Let's make a giveaway pile. Bio oil, I used this on my belly when I was pregnant with Theo. I like this, I think, I like this more than I like this lotion, which I'll get to. Ibuprofen doesn't need to go in here. I don't take medicine that often. This perfume is from college, high school, it's years old. And there's the tiniest little bit left, but this is like the only perfume I've ever owned. Oh my God, this is college memories. But it's the tiniest amount, but I never wear perfume. We'll just put it, put it somewhere else right now. Olaplex, which is really, really good for your hair if you get it dyed. I should just use this as a hair mask one day, but we don't need it, so we're gonna put it aside. I have some of the Ordinary products. I have uh, their Hyaluronic Acid. I have their Buffet. These are almost gone, but not quite used up. Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil is like gone, so I can clean this bottle out to reuse it. The AHA BHA peeling mask that you leave on for 10 minutes, the one everyone sees, it's like the red one, it looks like beets or blood. Cause I do like to use those, I don't use them that often. Um, the Foreo, Foreo, I never pronounced right, Foreo um, Serum Serum Serum. Um, I do like this, I just minimal with my skincare lately. The Coco Kind C Kale Clay Mask, I really like this one to use it. Mom's got a bit of a mustache, I've had it all my life, but I got this in college, the Sally Hansen Cream Hair Remover. It's probably not good at all, but that's, I have it, so that's what I use every now and then to remove my mustache. Body lotion from like a hotel, don't know why that's in there. I'll give that to Michael, he likes those sort of things. Unisom, there's one left in here. I have some that I got on the trip. This is a sleep aid. I'm not big into like sleeping pills, but sometimes I get in such like a bad habit of just like my body gets so used to waking up at night that I have to like break that to get back to sleeping through the night. So I'll take like a sleeping pill for a couple days and it like completely resets my sleeping and then I can sleep through the night again. The Galini Serum, Youthful Serum. This is actually pretty expensive stuff. Deodorant, I don't wear deodorant that often because I don't leave the house. This one is from 
Ursa Major. I do like this one. This eye cream, it is the One Love Organics Vitamin E Eye Balm. It's like one of those sort of things you can't even see. And you get the little amount. I've used this in skincare videos before. I like this. And even though it was expensive, I can't quite remember the price. It has lasted me forever because you use the tiniest amount. So I do like that. I'm gonna put that into my seldom used skincare because I don't use it that often. I have these face masks to go with my Foreo UFO. I do like these a lot and bad about taking time to do like masks and that sort of stuff, but I really do like these. So I have the Foreo UFO and then I have the Make My Day and Call It A Night packs. This company sent me to face scrubs. Um, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Pi Payaru, Payaru. Um, so they have a three ingredient monk bean face scrub and then a four ingredient one. And the only difference is this has cedar wood in it, natural veg vegetable glycerin, mung beans, and kaolin clay, kaolin clay, how you pronounce it. But this is just like a very easy face scrub when you just want like a physical exfoliant really quickly. I don't want both of them in here though. I'm gonna keep original three ingredient one and put the other one in the closet for later. I got this Thayer's Witch Hazel for when I was making padsicles for Theo and then I found out that this is like really bad for your skin or you're not really bad you just shouldn't use it on your skin it's not like the best toner you can use so I'm just going to take it out of here because I literally never use it on my face. This cleanser from Galini um, I don't wash my face that often but I actually want to keep it in there for when I do wash my face. I use the Coco Kine One For All Balm. I love this. We took this to Colorado with us. Well, I took it to Colorado with us. My face and Theo's face got so trapped. Like that poor little child had like wind burn on his face and it was like peeling and flaking. Put this on, perfect. So this, I love this stuff and I use it every single day. Another product from Coco Kind is Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar. Like this one too. Only have about a third of the bottle left. But I use that every day. Coco Kind's Watermelon Hemp Oil. Use that most days as well. Coco Kind's Turmeric Mastic. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. It's supposed to like help with like inflammation, redness, that sort of stuff. I'll put it on and let, like leave it on for half an hour. I don't feel like it does a ton. Like I probably wouldn't buy it again. But I'm trying to use it because it's like, you know, it's natural. I have these Acure Surfacing Intercalactic Peel Pads. I'm gonna put that with like my mask sort of stuff. This little area really bothers me because it's just like a cluttered little bowl mess. Got chapstick over here. I've got sunscreen for Theo, which will probably be put away because it's not really that bright. Ectoplasm Solid Perfume from Lush, which I really like it, but it lasts like no time at all. So we'll put that up with like the Cell Muse. I have Shine So Bright Split End Treatment applied to tips and men's split ends. I rarely use that as well, but we'll keep it. I've got like old, now dirty Q-tips, but it is nice to have this bowl to like put chapsticks and stuff in. Floss, which I guess that will be good in that bowl. I've got lanolin for your nips, for your, your breastfeeding. Don't need that up here right now. I have this EOS lip balm but it turns out that like this isn't that great for your lips. Certain chapsticks actually dry out your lips so then you use them more and more. Uh, old face oil from Lush that I'm probably gonna get rid of um, just because like my skin, especially in the winter, is just very sensitive to oils. And although I love the concept of these like naked face oils, my skin hates them. Okay, last shelf. I got my Foreo Luna 3. I like this, I use it like a couple times a week, but I don't use it every day because I don't wash my face every day. I have a cleanser from Foreo that I use. Um, this is almost empty, so I can go away. I've got Theo's toothpaste. He has the Burt's Bees for kids. Keep that so we can brush his little teeth. I don't like this. I'm not going to talk about it. Like I hate this cleanser. Throw it away. Um, Biofreeze doesn't need to go in here. And this is the Palmer's like stretch marks cream that I had with Theo and I like the bio oil better but I'm gonna keep it for the future and then I have this little bowl and this is where I keep Theo's little toothbrush look at that <laughs> um, this is for masks and then I also have my albatross metal old-school razor I was always terrified to use one of these but they're actually pretty great so I just keep those sort of things like this 
And then I have my toothbrush charger. I don't know what this brown stuff is down here, but we're gonna give it a quick clean. Microfiber cloth and this Purisi natural surface cleaner. So now that this is all cleared out, Put like sell me used stuff up top. I also put it by like face and that sort of stuff. So this is in good place now. So up here I have face masks. Um, these are like that little bowl, eye balm, toothpaste. Serums, deodorant, ordinary stuff, cocoa kind, like cleanser from For Real. These are, I use these every single day, so I'm gonna keep them there. And then I've got cleansers, that face mask, since it wouldn't fit up above. Mostly toothbrush stuff. So my toothbrush, our toothpaste, toothbrush stuff, razor mask thing, okay? All right guys, that is all cleaned up up there. Even though it's not like crazy cluttered, it just can be a bit overwhelming and eyesore and it's nice to just like oh I have you know half an hour I'm gonna like declutter my bathroom shelf and cabinet I hope you enjoyed this very casual <laughs> declutter clean out with me and I'll link the products that I mentioned that I actually like and I'm only using and testing out down below but the ones that I just don't care for I'm not gonna not gonna link because there's no point to that all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it inspired you to go clean out your own kitchen, bathroom, cabinet, go through your products and actually look at what you use and what you don't use. And even if you don't get rid of it, save it for later. If it's not good for your skin during this current season, put it away and save it for the season that it's meant for. And just your immediate everyday space, keep that for everyday or weekly items. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.